So it's very simple, ladies and gentlemen. The Brahmos is already in service, and what the developers have now done is taken the missile and expanded its range by a large multiple. It used to be a 300 kilometer range missile. Now it has become a 400 plus range missile, and now the gates are open for an even further range extension to make it even further in reach to access even more targets in China, Pakistan, wherever. Take, just take a look at the, uh, you know, I, I want to show you what the range of this weapon is. If you, if the missiles are based in Uttarakhand with a 400 kilometer range, large number of air bases within China and Tibet, uh, you know, are fully within range of this missile. When I say 400 plus kilometer range, that is still just the minimum. It can go up much higher than that in the tests ahead. If you situate the missiles in, uh, in, in Ladakh, Take a look at that huge sweep of reach that the missiles will have. The Hotan Air Base, the Nagari Prefecture, these are all large military areas uh, of the Chinese army in the Tibet region, are all within range of this missile. And it is an extremely fast one. And of course, in Arunachal Pradesh, this gives you a sense of the 400 kilometer range. It could be much more than that once the range is extended to an even greater extent. So the Brahmos missile is huge. And you've just seen pictures of that test that nobody else has before. You're seeing them for the first time here on Five Live. I want to go across now to India's foremost defense correspondents, Gaurav Savant and Sandeep Unithan. Sandeep, uh, you know, the both of you have just come back from Ladakh. You've been reporting from there. We do know that the Brahmos missile is already operational. It has been deployed. We know it's in Arunachal. We also know it's you know, either in Ladakh or near Ladakh, but definitely deployed and operationally ready. But this particular test is a development test that has basically unleashed the range of the missile, uh, Sandeep, from about 290 kilometers now to 400 kilometers. And the developers say these are just building blocks. They are, you know, they are now capable of extending the range of this missile much, much further. What does this mean? Shiv, absolutely. This, uh, as you said, that the range of the missile is being in, uh, increased, and uh, we've had this missile for almost 20 years now, yes. the Brahmos. And you know, the number of variants of this missile is almost staggering. Every year, there is an incremental, you know, uh, uh, improvement in the missile. Whether it's the change of a seeker or the increase in the range, this particular range increase was made possible because India signed the MTCR yes. uh, in 2016, which kind of opened the doors for increasing the range of uh, the missiles. Now, MTCR uh, signatories are not uh, bound by the treaty uh, which caps the missile ranges at 300 kilometers. So, what we got 20 years back was a basic version of the Brahmos where yes. the missile range was capped at 300 kilometers. But now, once the MTCR has been signed, the caps are off. We can take it up to 800 kilometers, even more. And it's a deadly missile ship. It's one of the deadliest missiles yes. in the inventory uh, of the armed forces. Uh, there are three versions in service now with two more variants coming, a coastal battery variant and a submarine launched variant. So you can just imagine the kind of economies of scale that can be developed yes. having such a large arsenal of uh, Brahmos missile ship. Gaurav, the developers tell us that the in-service Brahmoses, you know, can retrospectively be updated with these range extensions as well, which basically means that the Brahmoses, in a matter of time, will have a much larger number of targets within their reach than they currently have, which means we can actually sit down and count the additional number of Chinese air bases and military establishments that are now within supersonic cruise missile range of India's arsenal. Shiv, that's the catchword. The supersonic cruise missile, Brahmos, can go more than twice the speed of sound. And yeah. there is nothing that China has that can interdict a Brahmos if it is launched. So that is what makes it, uh, you know, almost like a Brahmastra. Uh, of course, the name Brahmos comes from Brahmaputra and yes. Moscow. India and Russia built this together, as Sandeep was just saying, uh, two decades ago. That 290 kilometer range on MTCR, now that we are signatories of the MTCR, Shiv, 600 kilometers is already what is being tried at this point of time. Hmm. Trials are on. The exclusive images that you've accessed, Shiv, are the 450 kilometer plus version. Yes. So imagine it is in Ladakh from what sources tell India today. You fire this and 450 kilometers, it's, 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 a, it's got an absolutely 
devastating sea curve, yes. uh, you know, which the Chinese cannot stop. The missile cannot be stopped once launched. It can hit a target and just completely annihilate the VA and VPs. It's not just an airfield. It could be a very crucial bridge. Yes. It could be any kind of a military location that India wants to take out. And it's weapons like this that will ensure that there is no war. China boasts of a very powerful rocket force. India now has a very powerful force that is coming up. It's not just the Brahmos. Remember, it's also the Nirbhai uh, subsonic cruise missile with a range of 1,000 kilometers that's also being deployed. Also, short-range Akash surface-to-air missile. So there's a lot that's being done to ensure that the adversary thinks twice before upping the ante -shift. Lots of Indian technology in this particular missile, in case you're wondering. It's a made-in-India weapon system, some Russian technology, of course, but India's components in this system m amount to about 65 percent which is actually huge and like Sandeep was telling us it's been in service for a couple of decades and the amount of Indian contribution to this missile system has increased incrementally stay with me gentlemen because this extended range Brahmos or the super Brahmos is the second big milestone in this very crucial weapons program during the current standoff with China in Ladakh just a couple of months ago there was another big milestone First, there was the air-launched weapon that became cleared for fleet operations, and now you've got the extended-range Brahmos. I want to take you back and show you how the Air Force is practicing with the Brahmos, and the missile is now fully operational. Six, five, four, three, two, one, now. One. Longer reach in its latest test, first revealed here on India Today makes the Brahmos supersonic cruise missile more formidable than ever. The implications of the expanded capability are enormous for India's fastest and most lethal strike weapon. Also, it's the second Big Bang milestone for Brahmos during the current standoff with China. a major milestone in the country's combat capabilities. Amid simmering tensions with China at the border, a crucial Indian weapon system has been cleared for combat. And it's the one you're looking at, the Brahmos air-launched cruise missile. India today has learned that the Brahmos A, a 300-kilometer range supersonic cruise missile, has received what is called fleet release clearance. Hi everyone, Preeti Chaudhary here. Hope you like this video. For latest news and analysis, like and subscribe to the India Today YouTube channel. And don't forget to press the bell icon to stay updated. Thank you for watching.